Say aloha to your new favorite summer side dish. A big scoop of creamy Hawaiian macaroni salad is perfect for your next luau or barbecue. Let's get started. Dried elbow macaroni is the traditional pasta to use for this dish. There are different sizes available. You can use small elbows, which usually use for mac and cheese, or these large elbows if you like a bigger bite. I prefer to actually use this size that has little ridges on the outside so that the sauce can cling onto the surface. In a large pot, bring four quarts of water to a boil. To season the water, add one tablespoon of kosher salt. Stir to dissolve. I'm going to make a large batch, so add one pound of the dry macaroni. Give it a quick stir so the noodles don't stick together. Cook the pasta until it's soft but not mushy, about 12 to 14 minutes. The released starches are going to make space for the vinegar dressing to infuse into the noodles, making it so much more flavorful. This is ready, let's go drain them. Drain the pasta into a colander, then rinse it with cold water. This technique will help stop the cooking process since the noodles are already soft. It takes about one minute for the pasta to cool. The pasta is nice and cool. I'm going to add it to a large bowl. The mayonnaise dressing is heavy, so I'm going to add some crisp vegetables for a nice texture contrast. Shredded carrots add a nice crunch and pop of color. I use my favorite Japanese grater to make the fine shreds. Let's add some refreshing celery. Finally chop so it's not overpowering in the salad. Add some mild sweet onions for just a hint of pungency. Finely grated onion incorporates easier into the salad and you don't get big chunks in your teeth. Now let's add the flavorful mix-ins. Add a half a cup of shredded carrots, a third cup of finely chopped celery, a quarter cup of sweet pickle relish. The relish is completely optional, but I like the sweet and tangy flavor that it adds to the salad. A quarter cup of grated sweet onion, a quarter cup of unseasoned rice vinegar, one tablespoon of honey. This is going to balance the tartness from the vinegar. You could also use granulated sugar or brown sugar, three quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now we're going to mix everything together. To fully season the macaroni, we're going to allow it to marinate for five minutes. The noodles act like a sponge, absorbing all the flavor so that each bite tastes so much better. For the creamiest macaroni salad, make sure to use full fat mayonnaise. Traditionally, Hawaiians like to use Best Foods or Hellman's brand for the most decadent consistency, so that's what we're gonna use today. Add two cups to the marinated noodles. Mayonnaise is just an emulsifier dressing using eggs and oil, seasoned with vinegar, sugar, salt, and lemon juice. When mixed with the macaroni, it's going to create a delicious sauce that clings to each noodle. For a lighter version, you can substitute some of the mayonnaise with sour cream or Greek yogurt, or use a reduced fat mayonnaise. However, it will be a little bit more tangy, so just make sure to adjust the sweetness. For a less creamy salad, you can mix in one tablespoon of whole milk at a time until the desired consistency is reached. What's great about this salad is it makes 12 cups, enough if you're gonna have a big party. It stores really well in the refrigerator. You can make it up to five days in advance. Here are some fun ways to customize this classic Hawaiian dish. Slice green onions or chives for a delicate alien flavor. Chopped hard boiled eggs for extra creaminess. Cooked peas for a pop of color. Cooked potato for a heartier mac salad. Diced ham or tuna for extra protein. Pineapple or pineapple juice for extra sweetness. Which mix-ins would you add? You've got the mac salad ready, but let's make it a complete feast. Here are some tropical dishes to pair with the pasta. Classic potato salad some Hawaiian rolls, a fresh tropical fruit salad. You've always got to have steamed white rice for a plate lunch. Huli Luli chicken, Hawaiian chicken skewers that are easy to grab, ahi tuna bowls, or try my spicy salmon poke bowls, pineapple chicken, a slice of Hawaiian pizza for the kiddos and adults, and a refreshing pineapple smoothie that tastes like a Dole Whip. What are your favorites? Let me know in the comment section below. Now that you know how to make Hawaiian macaroni salad, what would you serve it with? Leave a comment below. Get the full recipe over on my website, jessicagavin.com. See you in the next video.